here's a quick update into the uh, uh, design of the uh, power amplifier for audio purposes that I started. Uh, I am in the process of restarting the series. Uh, basically, you have to be patient. And as you can see, the amplifier is pumping, or oh, the signal generator is pumping 90 kilohertz square wave into the amplifier, as you can see. And uh, on the amplifier, uh, output is shown in blue. You can see, um, and it has quite a bit of uh, slew rate actually. So you can calculate the slew rate of the amplifier. This divided by this quantity will give you the DVDT of the amplifier, which is basically the slew, slew, slew rate of the amplifier. And uh, it has about 13 uh, volts per microsecond slow rate. And uh, I will show the updated schematic here, which I will go over in detail. And uh, you can basically pause and have a look and you can see that it has a, a bit of a DC offset on the output. Uh, because uh, I've twinned, twinned the amplifier a little bit such that it, it becomes fast and, and that causes the amplifier to have quite a bit of DC offset which isn't too much, 59 millivolts. I would like that to be in the realm of 10 millivolts but uh, that's, that's fine. And uh, you can see that this is definitely a 90 kilohertz signal if we put up the frequency measurement for uh, channel 2 which has 27 volts peak to peak output and uh, just remove the you can see that's definitely 90 kilohertz so just an update I will restart the design of this amplifier and uh, we'll have a look at uh, basically each section uh, my next video will include the design of the input stage which is the long tail pair and the uh, voltage amplification stage which is a class A amplifier with a current source load or current sync load in this case driving the output transistors which are um, uh, Darlington Comer common emitter based uh, output so for next for next video I will go through detailed design of the input long tail pair and the voltage amplification stage stay tuned thanks for staying patient on this time take care